After a long week of toil and trouble, are you looking forward to some much-needed relaxation? Waking up late in the morning, catching up with friends, or binge-watching that Netflix series you've been meaning to? What about exercising, though? Are you looking forward to exercising as well? I know it's almost weekend, and you must be swimming in Friday fields. So you'd rather not discuss exercise right now. The sweat and tears that come with it don't really scream happiness. But hear me out. Even small amounts of exercise can have an outsized effect on your happiness. And why is that? Because of a secret sauce, one that is made up of something called hope molecules. Here's a report. Exercising is different for different people. But for some, it is a haunting New Year resolution. The guilt behind every burger and the broken promise we constantly try to keep. Our relationship with exercise is just not working out because that itself can be a daunting exercise. Poetics aside, we have some data for you. More than a quarter of the world does not exercise enough. And despite all the resolutions we keep, there's been no improvement in global levels of physical activity since 2001. That being said, remember different countries exercise differently. So some are doing relatively all right. Citizens in the Netherlands are the most active. They spend about 13 hours a week working out. Followed by Germany, Romania, Russia, Hungary and India. Yes, Indians aren't too far behind. They spend about 8 hours a week exercising. But then there are countries like Italy, Japan and Brazil. And we don't mean to call anyone out, but they spend less than 4 hours a week on exercise. One in three people in Japan don't exercise at all. It won't be too surprising if a lot of us can relate to that statement. But here's the thing. As tough as the pre-exercise inertia is, beating it is totally worth it. And you don't have to be another Jane Fonda to do so. Because exercise, in whatever form and for however long, makes our lives better. You probably already know that because the physical benefits of movement have been long documented. It lowers blood pressure, reduces the risk of cancer and diabetes. It helps us age in a healthy manner and the list goes on and on. But the benefits are not just physical, they are emotional as well. As saddening as the thought of working out sounds, exercising makes us happier. It improves our mood and our ability to learn. It even makes us more hopeful. Yes, exercising gives us hope. And science has a clear answer why. We can't see the magic because it happens at a cellular level. When we exercise, our muscles contract. They secrete chemicals into our bloodstream. At the risk of giving you a terrible analogy, think of a wet sponge. When scrunched, it releases water. Now these released chemicals enter our bloodstream and make a nice little journey to our brains. These chemicals are often called hope molecules because they literally act as antidepressants. They make us feel good. But here's the thing. We can preach about the perks of exercising all we want. In reality, when we're feeling low, all we want to do is marinate on our couch and zone out in front of Netflix. But that's exactly what's hurting us. Teenagers who use screens throughout the day are twice as likely to get depressed. People with lower physical activity have lower self-esteem. Moral of the story? Get moving to get happy. And it need not be a high-intensity workout. Even a simple 10-minute walk will help. Exercise, even in small doses, is waiting to be your happy pill.